Hi there, everyone. Rob here with today's Western Pacific weather update. It's currently actually Easter Sunday, the 8th of April, 2012. And into today's update, we're going to be talking about how the weather during this coming week is going to be over much of the Korean Peninsula, specifically in the northern portions of North Korea, where a rocket launch is planned carrying a weather satellite. Uh, that's what's been put out at this time. So we're going to be talking about how the weather could be affecting this rocket launch and about how it has affected rocket launches basically overall worldwide. Actually in NASA at Cape Canaveral, about a third of the launches are canceled or delayed due to thunderstorm activity or even clouds cloud cover that often takes place there and actually uh, a lot of people don't realize thunderstorms are going to be canceling rocket launches for obvious reasons lightning strikes could uh, shut off some of the electronics and some of these very expensive pieces of equipment but also large amounts of cloud cover specifically any cloud that's cumulus or towering cumulus can often be triggered by these rockets going off into the atmosphere and can trigger lightning which will subsequently uh, make uh, power losses in these expensive pieces of equipment so the reason why I bring this up is because by the part of this week a frontal system will be making its way through the Korean Peninsula he actually here on Monday and going into Tuesday you can start to see this little troughing build up here but go into Tuesday uh, afternoon you really start to see that cloud cover start to push in and actually all these areas indicated in green are indicating rain showers and even thunderstorm activity so by Tuesday afternoon uh, really looks like this uh, launch would likely be scrubbed but even by Tuesday morning you're gonna start seeing some cloud cover push its way in strong southerly winds moving across the Korean Peninsula and actually let's look at Seoul's forecast as the closest least forecast I can get to where this possible launch site is and it does show that increasing cloud cover by 0 0900 and then the rain showers start working their way in by the afternoon, the evening time frame. But like I said, anytime you do have that cloud cover, it does bring the potential for lightning strikes. And actually, this has happened in the past, uh, even um, on a cloudy day. It's actually 1969. A Powell 12 launched through some clouds and was struck by lightning twice. So one of those really uh, important missions that actually went off to the moon was hit by lightning. So it does show that in past this has happened in the past. And also, like I mentioned there, just out ahead of this, you're going to start to see those southerly winds start to work their way across the Korean Peninsula. And off the winds uh, play a very vital and important fact in these launches. And it's also going to play a very important fact in where the Stage 1 and Stage 2 debris fall. At this time, it does look like the Stage 1 debris is going to be falling here right in the Yellow Sea just west of the Korean Peninsula. But the upper level winds, as this starts to work its way through this low pressure system, are going to be playing a very vital role. And actually, let's look at the 300 millibar heights and winds starting on Tuesday and then working your way through uh, basically going into Wednesday. And you can see that these winds continue to be very high. Actually, the jet stream is lingering right over the Yellow Sea. So that means that some of that debris possibly could go a little bit farther towards the east due to that strong winds but once you get down towards the south I don't know with a lot of fears uh, right around the northeastern coast of Luzon good news winds are actually relatively light in the upper atmosphere around the tropics usually only about the five to ten knots so as long as the uh, stage two happens where it's supposed to happen likely the debris will fall where it's supposed to fall right off the coast shouldn't be too much of a threat towards the eastern seaboard of Luzon and even if we go into the rest of the week you still just don't see any very strong upper level winds farther down towards the south there but look at this going into Wednesday and even in the Thursdays the polar front jet continuing to push through there but my personal thoughts on when the likely scenario of uh, the best time at least the launch would be it's Thursday morning you can see that this jet does or this whole overall frontal system pushes off towards the east northwesterly winds will be continuing to persist but they're starting to relax there and especially going into Friday morning you really see them relax a lot that means uh, likely you're going to be starting to see some clearing conditions out across much of North Korea. And this would actually be some of the best times is by Thursday morning going into Friday morning before next week when those winds start to pick back up as the next frontal system would likely develop out of eastern China going into Sunday. So Thursday morning to Friday morning. Still, these are just my personal opinions. These are nothing fact. I'm just trying to put out some information there for anybody living around these areas that has continued to be concerned about this event coming up. But that is all for right now, everybody. I do want to stress at least one more time. These are also just my personal opinions. I, uh, I do not disagree or agree with the fact that this launch is going off. I don't want to get into 
into that, but I'm just trying to put out there how weather can play a very important vital role into these uh, object the objectives of any countries worldwide, and also on this specific one, how it is going to be playing a very important vital role into this next launch coming up this week. So thanks again for watching, everybody. Please post your comments in the comment box below if you have any comments you want to share about this coming up, and also how you think the weather will be affecting it throughout this week as we continue to watch the developments off across the northern portions of the Korean Peninsula. But please stay safe out there, everybody, and have a great day.